Your Excellency, Mwishmua Uru Kinyata, Your Excellency, Mwishmua Raila Molo Dinga, our brother, young brother indeed, Mwishmua Salia Mudavadi, my young sister Tessie and daughter, and your sons and daughters and their, their family. Viongozi wote ambayo wamekutana hapa siku ya leo kusema pole kwa familia na pia kusherekea maisha ya mama wetu, dada wetu, Hana Mudavadi yule ametuacha. Siku ya leo ni siku ya kusema pole na kuwaombea familia yote ili that their mother has left them, they can continue to remember her and to memorize her the way she was and brought her up. I know that uh, we have been warned severally by the church that uh, no politics. But it uh, looks like, Musalia Mudavadi, you were brought up by a mama politician and a baba politician. So I keep on wondering why we have such a stern warning that we don't talk the food you ate every morning from when you were young until you are 60. However, we want to tell you, Paula, for losing your mother, she brought you up very well. When you were left at the age of Hardly that, you are not even married. I'm sure she took over from all the things that she had told you and your father had taught you. And you have been a great leader in this country. You also married. At that age, young people are still finding who, how you married a great lady. And she fit very well in your mother's shoes. She's going to continue doing what your mother has been doing. And we want to tell you, Pole, and we want to share with you, we have worked with you, I have worked with you. I do remember you and your wife in 1997 when I was running for the presidency. And I was told to come to support women who are doing a harambi at uh, Huru Park. And I said, how do I come and the President Moy, late President Moy, was the one who is conduct, was conducting the Harambe. And I was told, you must go. And then you saw me and your wife appear. And you looked at me and told me, you are welcome. I said, really? I thought that was great. In the midst of how we were in opposition and fighting the person who was then, your president and your Kanu chairman, and you have remained so. So as we come today and looking at the leaders meeting here and hearing what we are all saying, I'm really wondering how are we, the leaders meeting here, going to take this country forward? 2022 is the year that Your Excellency Huru Kinyata really must make us, this country, the way you always wanted it. And you can do so. And today, Your Excellency, look at the leaders from that corner. And all of them, all of them, Your Excellency, let me tell you, are raring to go. They want your seat. I have wanted it before. I really wanted it, and you know I did. But not all these leaders who are here can be. Bring us all together. You are able, you are capacity, and you can bring all these leaders together under one roof. And so that they know Kenya is greater than any of us sitting here. It is possible 
And I like this. Every time I sit here, I was just looking at my brother Kalonzo Musioka and saying, you know, it will only be one of all of you. Salia, you are my great friend, and I can see all the support you are getting at Vihiga. And I can see the support you will get in uh, the whole of Western, maybe Western province. But you know, if you come to Kambani, it will be a different story. If you go to Central Province, now President Uru Kenyatta will be the person. You come to Kambani, it will be the same. Kenyans, how are we going to bring this country together, have confidence in one of us, trust each other, and especially leaders come up with an agenda that is that we have already been given, the BBI uniting the country are so serving, especially the downtrodden and the poor, the women, people living with disabilities, the young people, how are we going to get one of us? I think BBI answers that, that question. And I want to really ask us meeting here today. As I look at them, from that corner, Mr. President, when you stand here, you will get a shock. I look at them from that corner, all of them, ask them, we are all great leaders who have met here. But we can we come up by saying, Hannah Budavadi brought together the whole country, the whole of Western provinces here. Can we now say, from here we will be able to talk to each other. We know, we know our opponents. We know those who don't mean well for this country. We know, President, you have given us your big four agenda. We know you have given us the direction na mwelekeo. Ni wangapi wanajua mwelekeo wa nje yetu. We need to, every time we stand in front of people, tafadali, tuseme mwelekeo where we want to take the country. As a, as, as a country, we cannot live this way forever. Every five years. Although I can say today, in Kenya there is another country that has taken over from us, United States of America. We saw it happen. But now you have put us together, President, we will never do that again. BBI is the way to go. Salem Davadi, we will need to sit all together so that we agree it is Musalia Mudavadi. We agree. By the way, I also want to be part of it. Why don't you all men get out of it and give it to me? Why don't you? Because I'm wondering who. I'm really wondering who. All of you. I could, Mr. President, even I heard you say, you would be happy one day to see a woman president. Why don't you say it is charity in Gilu? <laughs> you know, you know if you say that, and I'll put all of you in my cabinet, I will have the greatest cabinet. Mr. President, please leave us a country. And let me also say finally, Mr. President, Tafadali, Mr. President, Musalia Mudavadi, Raila Molo Dinga, Council of Governors Chairman, the Speakers, Musiachie Hinji Yetu, Matapeli Tunamujua. Please, no way. If you want to see blood, to Jaribu Hionjia. Lakina, I want to say it will not happen. Musalia, I'll walk with you. Tessie, you are a wonderful person. You have always been there for us. And we'll be there for you, we'll pray for you, and you are great children that we have seen here, and you were brought up by a great woman because you were also married very young. God bless you, the family, and the God rest her soul, Hannah, in eternal peace. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, now I call upon the governor for... Kisumu and the Busia to come over just for one minute before I call the chairman of the Council of Governors. Just one minute.